Hey everybody, Ernie Hat makes it here. It's the first day of May and I am exhausted. Alright, so this is an A-frame, uh, you know, just a pallet A-frame, and you can see that I wrote butternut squash on it with um, nail polish. You know, it's enamel paint, so it'll last longer than a Sharpie. So check that out. This is buttercup squash, and it came from Will It Grow John. And I planted it and you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them right now in that hole. Um, they're going to train out and I'm going to keep the three that uh, do the strongest and I'm going to hopefully let them go up and over the A-frames. Now it's going to have to stop once it gets here or maybe here because over here I've got strawberries and I told you guys I was going to take the flowers and nip them before they could do anything and it rained so much that I couldn't get out here and it already had strawberries and they're creating runners and there's things eating them and it's a mess in there so out here there was a yellow straight neck that I um, was growing in the house or actually I think this was in somewhere else and this stuff right here is just grass and I'm going to have to get it but my peas are doing good I've got some dwarf sunflowers coming up which the rain it rained so hard it pushed all the seeds together so I don't really have a an option unless I want to dig them up and space them out um, there's a zucchini, another zucchini. I think you guys saw these the other day. More peas. This here. Oh. That looks like snake poo. Anywho. <laughs> that's a huge piece of poo. One of two spots that I'm tilling this year will be this one and the wild animal food plot. Um. I'm not going to till a plot for corn this year. I'm going to try to roost out that corn. Maybe a little hugel culture. You know, maybe a mix of the two. Frankenstein, if you will. This is going to um, be squash and melon. And I'm hoping this year I can trick um, the squash bugs and stink bugs into going after yellow flowers that I've planted over here. There's milkweed. Um, uh, blah, 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 I can't think right now. Black eyed Susans. And then I got a little vacuuming surprise for them that I hope I'm going to be able to vacuum them and tape them up. So this is the real surprise. Now, last season I had a pallet that was sitting here. That pallet's now uh, been burned for firewood. Where this dirt is, you can see it's pretty much in a perfect square. And. I had some sunflower seeds here and you can see something else ate some sunflower seeds. So I've got some sunflowers I told you guys that I'm just going to have to grow and then put out so these things quit eating my seeds. Like this sad little piece of lemon pixie sunflower. <laughs> So anyway, this is the surprise. These blue boys, I don't know the uh, fancy name for them, but that's what we call them as blue boys. 
and last year I planted them in the pallet that was here and nothing happened but weeds and I'm like okay so then um, over winter when things were under ice and all that these things came up and uh, I didn't know that they you know grew like this I thought they were going to be a little bit more leafy and so I wasn't expecting them so I threw them out of the pallet before I burned it guess what started opening up and so just one of those things where I have learned now that before I plant something I need to know what it's going to look like before it looks like what I want it to look like I pulled almost all the weeds out of these pallets, which there's still a few big grassy clumps in there. My little chard that came up by itself is still doing um, pretty good. It's got a couple bites out of it, but I think the bugs don't like, you know, the oil and stuff that I've got on them. I've dropped another thing of uh, micro green uh, butter crunch lettuce out here to add to the three year old lettuce that just, it's about to flower again. And if it flowers, it flowers. I'm not even trying to eat it at this point. I'm just trying to get a few free seeds dropped into the ground. Nasturtium and uh, kale have a couple holes in them. I was hoping to get some comfrey. We'll see. Overall, though, everything that I've planted out here in these few pallets I've got things in, it's already out. And lastly, I've now got, well, that Epsom salt needs to be stirred in, but perlite, um, some uh, garden dirt, a little bit of mulch on the bottom, um, a little bit more organic material, and that kind of thing. And we're going to... Um, heat this stuff up a little bit not so much that we can't use it this year but just enough to kind of work into this clay soil a bit um, we're going to give the birds and stuff time to eat these bugs the dragonflies will be out in probably another hour and I hope to be long gone because the horseflies will be out too <laughs> so I thank you guys for watching and hope to catch some of yours also Ooh, what are they doing on this leaf